Hi, I'm Billy Maddox, and I'm going to mess this up so that you don't have to. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions about where I get my cover material. And uh, as of late, I've been doing like upcycled projects. So I, I get them from like big companies and like big sort of franchises. If you'll remember that DiGiorno movies, they were amazing. They were, you know, the battle between the, the pepperoni and the Italian sausage. That was that was great. Those two warring factions. No, but really, um, <laughs> um, I get it from a, of a number of different places. This is an old calendar. You know, it's good sort of card stock. I also... Um, uh, have a bunch of or or get a bunch of um, wallpaper samples and it's sort of a crapshoot what you get like what piece they send you because they send you a piece of the actual thing um, but you know you can you can get something from there sometimes they're they're really cool um, so I a lot of the the notebooks that I made. Oh, and this is because this is in response to a bunch of questions I got. Not a bunch of questions, but some questions that I got uh, where I get my cover material from. And I try to use sort of, a, you know, free means. You see, even this, like, even this uh, envelope that these came in is nice. It's nice. And that'll be nice for a, for a, for a notebook at some point. So even... Even that <laughs> I will use at some point. Um, but really, I'm just trying to, like, find stuff that would normally be trash. I mean, you know, the wallpaper samples, you get them for a specific reason, but eventually they end up being trash. And then the envelope itself, I mean, you know, no one's going to use that, right? Um, so, you know that's that's where I get most of my my haul I actually think that that's probably the best place if you're looking for something uh, for cover materials that's probably your best bet is to go that route but other than that now I'm just gonna flip through these to show you these some of these are weird um, some of these will not be used but who knows uh, but also, you know, magazine cutouts and things. This also, like, works really well. This was an old, like, photography magazine that I had. The, the paper stock is really good. It's good enough for a pocket notebook uh, that it's not going to completely deteriorate on you. Uh, but also, any kind of, like, little free magazines. I think I'm about to show you, like, a... W okay. What am I about to show you? I don't know. What about... Okay, okay. I'm reorganizing for some reason. Um, these are, you know, pages and covers from little, like, pamphlets. I think these are actually old. Um, Loot Crate, the little sort of brochure that came with it. Um, also, you know, weird catalogs and things. I'm sure that I can get something out of here at some point somewhere you know so these are the kinds of things that i'm looking at these were things that i was going to throw away and then i was like oh well maybe i could use uh, some from here like this um you know maybe i could use a little some some from there so that's that's pretty much where I find all my stuff. Also, packaging. I've been really into using packaging. Like you saw, I'm, I'm in the process of <laughs> conceptually working out how I'm going to do this pizza notebook, this DiGiorno pizza notebook. Uh, obviously, I could just make a notebook, but that would be boring. So I think what I'm going to do is probably make it in the shape of a pizza slice, which is a challenge in and of itself. Um, but yeah, you know, this is, again, this is an old calendar from, what, 2016? Uh, I still have knocking around. There's some good stuff that I can, like, get a piece of and make a cover out of. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, those DiGiorno movies were great. The last, uh, the last trilogy wasn't that great, though. It was, it was pretty good, though. It was pretty good. Anyway, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. Roll the thing!